Welcome to OpenMentor.net. In this session, we are going to see test planning in Quality Center. In the previous session, we have seen about requirements. Now I come to this Test Plan tab. In this, on the left hand side, you will see a folder. So what I can do is, I can say Login Test Cases. So if you can group Login Test Cases, then you can create registration related test cases okay so you can create multiple folders on the left hand side within the folder you can have a subfolder also you can say positive test cases negative test cases okay so I can also have one more folder negative test cases so you can create the folders on the left hand side now under a particular folder you can you can select that you can give the descriptions as well this is for uh, this will give details on valid login test so you can give <coughs> the details also here now I want to add a test case in that case you have to click on the this icon <coughs> this is new test if you select that it says whether it is manual depending upon the other plugins installed you can have QTP automated test cases load under test cases once you install those plugins it will also update the types now I say test name say valid login now I say click OK then it adds the test it has auto generated a test ID by default the test cases will be under the design status ready means they are almost done for test execution not done the test execution just ready for test execution repair means somebody reviewed and then you are going to change it but we use it only design you can leave it at that point not a problem you can have your test description here this is like a test case name you can have a test case description if you don't want the description if you want to just give only test steps again this is multi-line description this is one line test case name if you go to the design steps here you want to add your test steps now you can add click on that step one is go to home page then it adds the test you can add one more test step two from here itself you can say click new step right okay step two enter valid user ID and password then you can add the next step which is step 3 click login then expected result uh, a success message is displayed user is redirected to home page okay then okay now you have got all the three steps you can increase the column size, row size, everything is fine. Now this is almost like what you do in your spreadsheet. Only thing in the spreadsheet, you have to install the spreadsheet, write it in the test spreadsheet, then email the test sheet to your lead. Whereas here, as and when you type, it also updates the details over here. Test script is used only for automated tests. Attachments, if you want to have any other data attachments, you can attach any file over here okay or you can give a link over here now this is a valid test case now under the negative test case I want to have the same thing to be copied over here right so what I should do I can go here I say right click now I say copy copy now I go here select it right click paste so you don't have to retype the whole stuff but the thing is the name of this is valid login the name of this is also valid login but now what I'm going to do is I go here and then I change this to I try to change but it doesn't allow me to change but this is a different test case altogether so when you are copying across the nodes you need to make sure that you are able to change the name of it otherwise it keeps the name as a thing there is a way to change that also 
So if I go here, it doesn't allow me to change. Whereas you go here on the left hand side, right click, rename. Then I go to say this is invalid login. Okay. So it doesn't allow you to change here, but you can rename from here. But the thing is, design steps, I have to go to the home page that is the same. Enter valid user ID and I'm going to say wrong password. That is what I want to change. Just a few words I want to change. Click login. Then I'm going to say a failure message is displayed. User is not redirected to home page. This is my expected result. So you can have one test case, positive and negative. Just copy and then change a few wordings. You are good to go. It is as good as cop cut and paste in or copy paste in your spreadsheets. So now we have got this test cases written. I have written two test cases. Now what I want to do is let me go to the requirements. Okay, if I go to the requirements, uh, there is an invalid login. Right now it says not covered. What I want to do is I go to test plan. This is the invalid login test case. Now I have to say require requirement coverage. If I go to the requirements coverage, I want to say this test case is for some requirement. So select the test case, go to the select requirement. Expand the requirement under the login. I have got this invalid login. Pull that. So now I'm saying this test case is for this particular requirement. Now we have done that. Once this is done, I come back to requirements. I need to refresh the screen. Once you refresh the screen, previously it was not covered, now it says no run. Not covered means there is no test case attached to this requirement. No run means a test case is attached to this requirement, but it was not executed. So this way you can keep on writing test cases in this test plan folder, but make sure you map them to the requirements. Okay, the dependencies and linked uh, resources defects we will deal once we go to the bug tracking system. So in this session, we have seen how to create test folders, how to create a test case, then how to give the test steps, then how to map, how to copy paste a test case and then change a few words, then how to map them to requirements so that we know that we are covering all the requirements. With this, we end this session. Thank you.